Let me minimize this so we can see all the slides. Okay, so um, today I'll be sharing with you uh, some of our uh, new retail solutions and then some of the success cases uh, and why do we need the new retail solutions today? Yeah. So uh, let me start it. So let me um, put some numbers first. So this is some uh, this is some number uh, uh, we acquired in 2018. Uh, this is a number for China. So uh, until 2018, there are 570 million e-commerce customers um, across the whole China population. So that's probably 50% of the Chinese population are on e-commerce customers. And the 98 of them uh, use mobile e-commerce. So they use uh, uh, mobile phone, mobile apps to do their e-commerce. And uh, um, But from the GMV point of view, um, they are still 23% of the GMV come from e-commerce. So um, actually the number actually telling us something, almost 50%, 50 uh, actually is 50% of the uh, population are on e-commerce, but uh, their spending is still 23%. So what does that mean? It means actually a lot of business are happening in both online and offline. So sometimes they just browse online and then they purchase offline. And then probably the other way around. Sometimes they browse offline and then they purchase online. So then the next, the next thing we did in 2019 is that we did a survey about the customer's purchasing behavior from discovery to study, purchase, payment, delivery, and feedback. As you see that uh, um, for this color is actually representing offline and this color is online. So from a discovery stage, it is really a mix of online and offline channel that we use to di discover what we want. And then we, we also use uh, online, both online and offline channel to study what is exactly the product. And then we make purchases from both online offline and then we make payments for both online offline. And uh, each of the channel can go from, from offline to online and off online to offline. So that means there isn't really a, uh, online commerce or there is offline commerce. It's really a merged kind of scenario for online and offline new retail. So that is... Uh, so, so essentially that is uh, uh, the behavior that we observe today. And then we feel in recent two years, we see that the same thing is happening in Southeast Asia, especially in Indonesia because Indonesia is like China, there is a lot of uh, potential in the market. There are a lot of population in the, in the market. So that is something that we feel excited as well. So when we get into, uh, <clears throat> when we talk about online and offline uh, new retail business model, then there are certain challenges. So uh, typically we see there are three different types of uh, retailers. The first one is actually the smaller retailers who owns the neighborhood stores. Um, they, uh, they, or they could own a few of them. And the next is that uh, there could be a larger retailers starting their own stock. And then they have a, they have a regional wide uh, distribution channel or stores. And then they probably have a global wide uh, distribution, distribution channel and stores. And then another one is the supermarkets who sells the fresh food category. So those three kind of uh, uh, business, they may want their business model or they may want their digitization a little bit differently. So I will come to that, um, how that could be different and the, what we can do from there. So let me first introduce um, Terminus. So Terminus is the product team from Alibaba Cloud established in uh, 2012. And that is the team actually is a spin off from our Taobao team. So uh, we take the, the new retail or e-commerce technology best practices and then consolidate that into a solution offering for our customers. So our customers could leverage what we have, the nice things that we have done for ourselves to equip them and then to go digital. So the whole Terminus portfolio have seven components. We have an e-commerce platform, uh, e-commerce platform offering. So that covers both uh, B2C, B2B2C, O2O. 
And then next is uh, um, we have a CRM piece, which manages the loyalty program, manages the campaign automation. Then we also have the customer data platform to acquire, acquire data from all the channels and then make the campaign to be more intelligent. Then we come to, um, to uh, the omni-channel platform. So this is an interesting thing. If we're, today we're talking about, uh, we are dealing with so many channels. So um, if I don't have a centralized product management, order management, and inventory management, and channel management layer, then I'll be, then it will be very challenging for me to think about how do I fulfill the demand from various channels? Do I need to keep separate inventory? Do I need to establish different warehouses? Do I need to manage the product listing differently to different channels? That are all manual work. And then that may not give a seamless experience across all the channel. So that is why number five, omni-channel platform coming into the picture. And then of course it works with our warehouse management and then transportation management. And uh, to make sure that uh, the offline channel are, are having the digital experience, we provide the POS solution in terms of both software and, uh, and the hardware to make the store smarter and then running together with the online channel platform. And then sometimes we, if we do the B2B kind of uh, transactions, we are facing the problem of uh, which vendor we, so we, can, we should source from. So that is what SRM uh, coming to the picture. So back to the three um, scenarios we talked about just now. For the, for the small retailers who just run a couple of stores, most of them actually didn't have a very well established uh, system. So what they need is probably POS as well as the omni-channel platform to make sure that they can fulfill the orders from all the channels. And then they have a post to record their orders and then make sure the payments will go, go through in the offline channel. So that is a typical usage. For the larger retailers who have their own, let's say for larger retailers who probably have their own e-commerce platform and then who are probably already on board into the, the, the third party uh, the retail platforms. And then sometimes they have their warehouse management, uh, they have their loyalty campaign, CRM as well. So what they need is really a middle layer, which is omni-channel platform to bring all the demand from different channels together and then consolidate all the supplies, which are the warehouses, the warehouse in the stores, warehouses in the regions together. And then, and then the match the supply and demand in the middle layer with this omni-channel platform. So that will give the larger retailers a true seamless experience in across all the channels. And the third uh, category is about uh, the, the fresh food uh, retailers, for example, supermarkets. The characteristic of these kind of uh, um, the retailers are their, <coughs> their inventory is uh, moving very fast. And then their, um, their inventory are scattered around different stores in the region, uh, depends on where they have the store. So uh, what they really want is that uh, they want customers to come by um, or make the order and then to pick up offline or, or make the, or uh, decide what to purchase offline and then have that delivered to their home. So that is uh, something what we call a O2O um, delivery solution that can be facilitated by our e-commerce platform. So that is the, uh, that's a general introduction about uh, uh, what we have in the, in the new retail solution, uh, uh, in the new retail solution portfolio. And then let me get into some of the highlights. So when we talk about e-commerce platform, uh, once traditionally uh, e-commerce platform uh, solution provider only will only do B2C means that uh, a business sells something to a consumer. But uh, uh, right now more and more uh, business want to set up their own marketplace. So that is why we enabled B2B2C. Essentially you can establish something like a Timo, something like a Lazada for yourself. And then the, we uh, enables O2O business for the supermarkets as well as for the F&B business. This is the um, kind of a typical um, business flow that we support. 
from the promotion of the, uh, the campaigns and then to the shopping guides, um, facilitate the transactions, uh, trade, delivery, customer service, and settlement. So these are the screens you can have in the out of, uh, as out of box feature that you can just onboard your content, your, your product list, and then you can make this live um, for your customers to use. So uh, when we come into the B2B, B2C uh, online mall, that is uh, the simple um, uh, user journey um, out of box. And this is the O2O online mall. So O2O online mall, there'll be, there'll be several uh, components added to the B2C. For example, the O2O online mall lets you to choose your nearest store so that uh, you can always buy from your nearest store or the nearest store will all, always deliver to your home. And you can also choose to pick up uh, on-site or you can choose to um, purchase on-site and have that delivered. So it's a mix of online and offline services. And the next highlight is that uh, when, we met, when we do the category management, um, we manage uh, both categories from the front end and back end. So back end is the category that you manage to integrate with your ERP and then Front end category is the category that you manage to make to to uh, to determine what your users see in the in the application or in the website or mobile app. Um, for the product group, sometimes we sell product as the individual product. Sometimes we want to sell bundles. Sometimes we want to configure the product series. For for example, one product could have could have different flavors or colors and so on. So we support uh, the functions to to configure the product groups and then product series. And uh, um, so when we think of uh, the scenario that uh, retailers could have multiple warehouses or they could have multiple offline stores um, may have the capability of delivering to customers, then from here we can set up delivery strategy. Do we always deliver um, by the nearest stores or we have a centralized warehouse for the whole region? or what is the uh, delivery logic that we want to do. Um, there are also many of the promotional activities that we support. So we can configure the promotional events, for example, the, the double 12, which just passed in the last weekend. And then we can set up various different type of discounts, vouchers, lucky draws, and so on to attract customer um, to purchase from the online channel. And then the, similarly, you can create a card, gift card, and then you can create a coupon um, to give to your loyal members. And then this is a, a unique feature for the B2B2C business. So if you operate a marketplace, the merchant in your marketplace may want to have their own look and feel. We want to have their own store have uh, their unique look and feel, and then their unique sections of functionalities. So this is the um, this is the um, platform could let your merchants to create their own store page by themselves by just do a drag and drop. So this is quite convenient. They can do this for the PC uh, client and then for the mobile client. So um, so this is essentially how the um, how the uh, loyalty system, uh, how the um, e-commerce system work for different scenarios. And next is about the loyalty and campaign. So sometimes you, you, most of the time you may want to get to know your customer better. You may want to turn your customer into a loyal member so that you can have them re repetitively purchase from you or you can, you can use ways to increase their values. So loyalty and campaign, that is the, the business objective is really to acquire members from an unknown customer. You retain the members, you interact with the members and you convert them more by setting up a loyalty program, by giving them some member privileges and then being able to do the omni-channel cross-sell. So um, these are the diagrams of functionalities that our loyalty and campaign system supports. So it supports um, from the loyalty management basically set up the loyalty program, having the member accounts of the vouchers and points, having a communication plan, 
um, being able to manage the life cycle of the member from sign up into the conversions and so on. And uh, we run campaigns, uh, automate the campaigns. Um, we set up the campaign instruments and then last but not least providing the analytics of the campaigns as well as the members. So with this campaign automation platform, you can run the campaign pretty easily by just select the time periods, select the customer group, apply, uh, apply a content templates, and then the set up the triggering rules, and then let the system to trigger the campaign. And then you can evaluate the results. So aside from the loyalty and campaign, um, there are some other interesting features that we want to highlight, for example, growth value. So sometimes you may not just want to reward your customers by uh, when they make a purchase or they spend something. Sometimes we want to reward them by some behaviors. For example, they keep logging into your mobile app or they keep coming, coming back to your stores. No matter they purchased or not, you may want to reward them. So the growth value is the tool for you to do that. And then after that, you may want to tag your customers. So for example, if they have uh, redeemed your campaign, then you may want to tag the customer. If they, um, if they spend a lot in the recent month, you may want to tag them with some different tags. So this is a platform for you to define the rules of how to tag the customer based on their behaviors. And then with this tagging, then you will have a better customer insights about uh, when you run campaigns, then your campaign could be getting more personalized. And then the, this is the uh, how you run the campaign by configuring the canvas based on what you, how do you want to trigger the campaign, what kind of rewards you want to give, and then what kind of uh, messages want you to send. And after sending the message, what do you want them to do? And then after we acquire enough data from the uh, campaign response, from the browsing history, then we can think about set up the recommendation engine to personalize their pages, personalize their product listing to make sure that uh, we can leverage the traffic better, basically converting them more um, by recommending the most relevant offers and most relevant products. And then last but not least, integration platform is essential that uh, uh, sometimes we are facing the, the, the needs of integrating to, uh, to the retailers financial systems, integrating with their uh, CRM, integrating with their ERP, warehouse management and so on. So this is the integration platform with, with some integration templates. Um, so as long as the, the systems have in APIs, then it is not a problem of integrating with them. So um, after sharing some of the nice features and use cases about uh, the e-commerce platform and as well as loyalty campaign, then I want to share with you a, a few uh, success cases. So um, this customer is one of the largest uh, uh, home appliance manufacturer in China. Um, it is also a famous brand internationally. So uh, what we have done with them is that uh, we have uh, enabled them uh, multiple trading modes for example, uh, the pre-sale, uh, sale by appointments, um, and ver various type of these uh, training modes. And also uh, we help them to create uh, various different marketing tools. For example, vouchers, uh, the lucky draws, um, the, the various type of discounts and so on. And then with our platform, um, since our platform is uh, fully cloud-based, it's a uh, highly uh, scalable, then they have done, they have run very smoothly in double 11. So uh, there is a statistics about, uh, uh, they have uh, um, reached to um, 12,000 orders per second. And then the system is still able to take care of it, take care of the, uh, the transactions. And the next is the, this is one of the largest uh, bookstore chain in China. Um, so this bookstore have more than 5,000 uh, more than 5,000 uh, stores across the country. Um, so uh, they are selling more than three million books, three million type of books. Um, and uh, um, so um, <coughs> their online channel 
and uh, their e-commerce platforms loyalty systems are built by us. And then so today, if you go to the bookstore, then you no longer have to take the book home. You can choose which book you like, and then you scan the barcode and then put that, place that as the online order in the bookstore's app. And then you can leave without carrying the book home. The book will be delivered to you. And all the, all the orders and the payments and delivery are done online. And this is the uh, leading cross-border duty-free business. Um, so uh, we have also helped them to set up their uh, B2B2C uh, kind of uh, uh, marketplace. Uh, so they are able to not only selling their own products on the e-commerce platform, but they can also onboard their partners, their tenants into the, into the marketplace. And then with this, they are able to not only fulfill the orders um, by multiple uh, merchants, but they can also do the proper settlement to each individual merchants on the platform. So um, that concludes my sharing today. I mean, you can store the big data through our uh, device and do the supply and marketing forecasting model, like the purchase recommendation, dynamic pricing proposal, and you can have the sales forecast. Yeah, this is to control operating costs to do the automatic pricing strategy and reduce the budget. And thank you. This is my email. If you have some question, you can email me here. Thank you.